Okay, today we're going to take a look at the profile plot in MAP software, which is the graphic representation of the thermal data that you download from the profiler. And to get started here, um, go ahead and launch MAP software and select the profile tab at the bottom. And we'll be going over some uh, things that we can add to this graph uh, just to explain it further and, and um, and really add some visual aids that uh, are customized for our process or our assembly. And so uh, just to get started here, uh, one of the first things that we can modify is how much space on this uh, window for the graph that our, our plot actually takes up. Right now you can see that our, our peak only goes two-thirds up the, up the window for our profile plot. And um, we can right click on the temperature scale on the left hand side and set our Y scale. You can change it from auto to manual and uh, we'll set it to 270 degrees C here and so that our profile plot actually uh, takes up a larger space in this window for us. And uh, another handy thing uh, with the temperature reference is you can add a reference line. Uh, let's say for example we have these default uh, values on the left hand side which give us an idea uh, for reference of our, our temperature and let's say we need to know exactly what 165 degrees C at, is at in the plot. We can set that value and name it. I'm just going to name it my 165 reference and ch even change the color of the, prof of the line reference line if we need to and hit OK and so we'll always be able to see exactly where 165 degrees C is in our profile. Uh, the same can be done uh, with our time scale here. If you want to change the time scale, by default it's in relative time, but you can make it in absolute time, uh, like time of day, or uh, the number of points, data, data points that the profiler logged, or distance uh, based off your conveyor speed. I'm going to leave this in relative time for now and hit OK, uh, but you can add a time reference as well. Um, let's say, for example, if you need to know exactly where halfway through your oven is on the profile plot and uh, which temperature your channels are reaching at that point, uh, you can set that in there as well. It may be partway through a zone and you want to keep track of exactly halfway for whatever reason. But uh, speaking of your oven zones, that's uh, you know one of the most important things or one of the main things that you can add to a profile plot and have those on the graph to display the set points and, and the zone bounds and that type of thing. Uh, we're just going to right click on the graph and uh, set machine information and I'm going to use my uh, OmniFlow 7 oven here that I've already measured with a tape measure the, the lengths of the zones uh, for this six channel profile I did and so I already know this is going to match up fairly well when I hit OK here and that's going to add the zone bounds with my set points for each zone. Uh, if you need to move the process origin where, where your profile begins um, one important thing to note is for this profile, probably right about there is the beginning of zone one. Uh, when the profiler s starts to see temperature, uh, that's usually just uh, heat coming out of the front of your oven or the beginning of the, the entry area there before you reach zone one in the oven. And so that's a more realistic process origin for me. And uh, one of the other handy tools that you can use with regard to your zone bounds is to align your your peak of your profile with the uh, with the end of your last heating zone and so to do that uh, just click profile align peaks and what that does is that moves the end of the last heating zone uh, just by a small amount there to adjust it with the actual thermal data that you've downloaded uh, so that lines up with the the top temperature that you measured in your profile. And so let's uh, take a look now at, at some things that you can label 
on the profile graph if you're going to print out and you want to have some information that goes along with the graph itself uh, we can right click and select show on profile and you can add any anything from uh, for example the maximum internal temperature that the mole reads um, to see how hot it's getting during an oven run to make sure you're not going to over temp your mole um, we've already added the machine information in here with your zone bounds and set points uh, you can have your assembly name if you want that on the printout uh, just so everybody knows for example that this is a profile of motherboard number 79 that you're you're using for this assembly uh, you can also add in your solder your solder paste specifications here and I'm going to show you what these look like real quick just so you can see that uh, it will overlay a graphical area that is in spec for your solder paste and so you can see in this case we did reach our liquidus temperatures on all six channels for this solder paste and that displays on there as well and so um, you can also have the date and time and the name of your your profile as well as uh, the spreadsheet tab is actually really cool and to show you what these user fields are I'm going to select the first two user fields here and we'll hit OK it's going to keep all of that information that I selected uh, with our machine info our assembly our solder paste etc but for the spreadsheet let's go ahead and, and click on the spreadsheet tab at the bottom and this is the profile that we're working with these green columns are uh, just basically custom labeling uh, columns that you can use to add information to your profile graph and so say we need to let everybody know that this is line one that we're working on and we're working with assembly uh, number 479 today we can click back to our profile and that's going to display right in this graph information for us on the right hand side and so that's pretty handy just to use as a as a custom feature there or custom labeling um, and so now that we've uh, looked at how to change the temperature and time scales and add some reference lines along with your oven information and and the different things that we can label to show on the profile uh, before we end real quick here I'm going to show you some preferences under file and preferences this is what's going to display on your profile graph you can for example if you want to change it to Fahrenheit so it just displays Fahrenheit for you you can do that um, if you don't want as many uh, y-axis temperature axis grid lines on there because it's getting too busy you can change that down uh, say you only want a couple in there to go with the references that you've created you can set that under this uh, file preferences and so if we hit OK to that it's going to bump us down to just two of the default reference lines there and, and clean up the graph a little bit for us. And so 